and this time I'm reviewing the Ocean's Legacy rods, my go-to rods for rock fishing. That's, this is the rod here, I put it in two piece. Specialist, there you go there. My favorite, favorite rod at the moment. Might be a bit slight heavier than the Japanese brands like Palms, but the coating is, is probably the reason why because it's got a really thick coating. The way we fish on, off the rocks, we need robust products. Oos, I'm the tuna back again, and this time I'm reviewing the Ocean's Legacy rods. These rods were given to me from Ocean's Legacy, Alan more specifically, and they've been sponsoring this channel for just over a year now and I thought I'll give a feedback on, on the rods. I'll only review the three rods that I use for rock fishing. I've, I've got one Ocean's Legacy that's for boat jigging. I don't really use it that much, but hopefully I'll be able to give a review on that uh, pretty soon. I'll be reviewing the Ocean's Legacy Aggressor, uh, the Specialist and the Dreamcast. And these are the three I use for, for rock fishing. All right, well, let's start with the Aggressor and that's this is the rod here i put it in two piece can't fit can't fit it in here if i was to put it all in one piece but that's it there it's the p8 eight foot eight heavy heavy for the heavy heavy fish um, i haven't used it too too much to be honest i've only had it about three months now um, the weight distribution when i put it with the when i pair it with my my Daiwa Saltiga 14,000 is really good. Like it has a really good weight distribution. Um, I guess it's, it was designed for those type of reels anyway. Uh, the weight of it, I weighed it earlier, was 422 grams. So I might be a bit heavier than some of the Japanese rods, um, but I'll just call out the coating on it. It's got a thicker coating on it and it's really suitable for rock fishing here in Australia. So it's really designed for the, for, the, uh, for the rough conditions. Now, based on the website, I'll just read a few things here. I'm not technical, so I'm just reading it out. All I know, it feels good, right? But it does say here that it has Japanese quality componentry from Fuji. It employs Fuji DPS real seat and custom locking nut. I don't know if I like that, um, locking nut. Uh, designed for Ocean's Legacy. So it's referring to, to this uh, double, I don't know what you call, call this screw, but yeah, very detailed, very nice, look at that. Quality, quality, uh, quality parts there. And the blanks, the blank is reinforced with two multi-cross core carbon and multi-blend Japanese Torre graphite, providing maximum lure action and incredible power. Look, I have used it with uh, the heavier stick baits it is a lot easier to use this type of rod for, for those heavier stick baits. But I'm hoping I'll be able to put it to the test pretty soon. Just watch out for that. I know I say that all the time, I know we say that all the time, but this time around it's for real. So hoping to hook up to something really big pretty soon on this thing. The next rod is the Ocean's Legacy Specialist. There you go there. You see that? This is, this is the rod that I use the most. I pair it with my uh, Daiwa Certate 8000. Very versatile. Uh, the reason why I chose this one, this one is the 9 foot 8. Let me just give you the details here. It's 9 foot 8. It's considered the medium setup. It's 30 to 80 grams. And the reason why I chose this is it's, I, I use mainly 60 to 80 grams. So we use the 60 to 80 gram uh, jigs. So that's why I chose it. It's, uh, it is a jigging rod and it's got a really nice action to it. But at times when I'm using a stick bait, it doesn't really have the right action because it's more of a jigging rod. So I might have, I, sh I, I should go heavier. So maybe a, a heavy or a medium heavy. So Alan, if you're listening, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to accept another one. But, <laughs> but this has been my go-to, right? I've used it for over a year now. It's been great, man. I've, um, 
I don't use the demon blood anymore. I use this because this one here I can use for jigs and smaller stick baits, whereas the demon blood, the Dewa demon blood, I, I couldn't do that. I can only use hard body lures. But it's been great. I've, I've caught a, a whole bunch of Bonito, uh, small to big, caught a few Rat Kings on it. No problems, man. This is going to last me for quite a few seasons. And the quality of the rod is good. Again, same thing, thicker coating. It's got the double lock nut. Let me just read what it says here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about lock nuts also. I don't know, Alan, you luck, you luck mentioning it on your, uh, on your website, man. Um, okay, so. Specialist long cast was born. All right. Utilizing Japanese Fuji components, including Fuji DPS reel seats and locking nuts. <laughs> Custom designed for Ocean's Legacy and Fuji KW double foot guides for superior strength across the range. Nothing is left to chance. Dang. Okay. That's it, really. I love this rod, man. This, I love this rod. This is, this, this is my go-to. And um, if anyone's ever watched my other videos or have gone to, gone to some, of my, some of the seminars I've presented, I always say that the 8,000 size reel is my go-to and this is the rod I will pair it with. However, my favorite, favorite rod at the moment is the Dreamcast. Look at that, Dreamcast. Let me see, like that. just to show you, to show what it looks like there. Really good quality product, man. Again, nice solid coating. Uh, PE 1.2 to 2.5, 9 foot 2. I'll just read out the, the details here. It's 9 foot 2. Um, 20 to 45 grams. I'll pair this with my uh, Shimano. Um, what is it called? Or, or I had to cut that out. I had to go check what it was. It's the Shimano Stratic 4000. And um, actually, the Shimano Stratic 4000 is actually a bit, bit light for this rod, um, but it still works for its purpose. I use it for lighter jigs and lighter setup, and sometimes I use it for bait. I love this rod. It's it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, really designed for jigs. You get that real great action to it. I'm not an expert on jigs, but I know this thing makes it a lot easier to do. Um, might be a bit slight heavier than the Japanese brands like Palms, but the coating is is probably the reason why because it's got a really thick coating, and I'm I can't I can't deal with fragile products, man. I the way I fish and the boys we, the way we fish on, off the rocks we need robust products and this coating here if if it was any thinner it'll be scratched all over the place so a really great product um what does it say here anything to call out on the website not really look i reckon this real this rod here will be perfect for like a, a 5000 size saltiga reel or a 5000 size stella um, maybe even 6,000. Oh, 6,000 might be too heavy, but a 5,000 would be perfect for this. So I might have to, uh, might have to go shopping again. <laughs> but yeah, really great rod. I, I, this is, again, this is my favorite rod by, by, by far. Um, the Specialist is my rod, my go-to rod, and the Aggressor hopefully would get me that, that really big fish. So that's it, guys. That's the three rods, my go-to rods for rock fishing. Uh, thanks to Alan for supporting this channel. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to, to partner up with an Australian brand. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Japanese products, but I would suggest if you need to choose a rod and it's within the same price range, go Australian, man. Go Australian, support Australian business. Uh, even if it's purely for that purpose, I, I would go ahead and choose Australian. So. Thanks again, Alan. Uh, I will be reviewing the Aggressor and the boat jigging rod once uh, we return from that trip. But um, for now, these are my three go-to rock fishing rods. If you guys want to get some, go visit ISO Fishing at Croydon or Eastwood or any good uh, fishing store out there. Anyway, till the next video, guys. Oos.